We are going to use a clipping mask. Going to get a brush and make some festive shapes. That's pretty festive. Okay? Oh, let's put some more festivity in there. All right. Now you want this festivity to fit inside of this rectangle. With the rectangle at the very top of the uh, sublayers, right? And you can see that I've got it selected, a little radial view here, right? I select all, command A, object, clipping mask, make. And then it will all fit into that shape that was on top. So this can be very, very helpful. Now I'm gonna back it up again. And I want to show you something about brushes. I had a couple of questions the other day about brushes. If you go to our brush panel, we have just these, I, it's very strange, there's like nine or 10 like meh brushes. If you select the stroke, you can add different um, appearances to them, oh. right? But let me show you where the business is. All right, so that think it kind of cool. Where the business is, is in here. Grab this little pull down menu and go to open brush library. And I like to go to the artistic and maybe the chalk charcoal pencil and it will open up a bunch more selections. Select the stroke. Right, so you can give these different textures, which I think is kind of lovely. Another one that I really like is Open Brush Library Artistic um, Paintbrush. So you can select. And then they have more gestural feeling. With that selected, you can always go up to the stroke menu and change the stroke. And you can change this, which is the variable uh, width profile. And that will also change the appearance of the brush. So you should play with these too. All right, they can be really kind of beautiful. So let's make this stroke a little bigger. Change the width profile to six. And there we go. So we've got a lot of options that are located under the brush in the brush library. Now, I like to download brushes. So let's go over here to um, brushes for Illustrator. Free download is even better. And I'm trying to think where I got free. This might be where I've gotten them before. I found some absolutely gorgeous brushes. Let's see. Let's try this. Okay. Illustrator paint brushes. Download. It's an EPS, which is a kind of older, um, an older file that people, when people would save an, um, an Illustrator file as an EPS for moving it back and forth within Adobe. Now, or to print. Now people don't really have to do that so much. So it went to our, our downloads. Let's go get it. Notebook probably. Where did I put? I think I put it to my desktop. There we did. So I'm going to unzip it by double clicking on it. And then we get this EPS file, which I'm going to drag over the AI file. Hit yes to whatever that was. Um, and now you will have these different brushes. So these are not brushes that are loaded up in here so much, but you could use them and change the color of them if you wanted to get different effects. <laughs> Bless you. So these, as so you can see, these are already brushes. They are not um, loaded into a brush panel, which would be an entire another thing. But for now, if you're like, yeah, I kind of like that. I love the look of that. Okay. When you double click on one of these, you enter isolation mode. So if you ever look at the top and you see that there's um, layer one and then a group and it will say isolation mode, that means that you are editing just what is selected and everything else is kindly grayed out. And in here, if you wanted to zoom in, grab the A tool 
and make any adjustments to it, right? Adjustments to any of the anchor points, you could do that, right? And then when you leave, it will be updated like that. Right, so let's leave isolation mode. There are um, different kinds of brushes that you can download. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research because these are not actually brushes, these are more just shapes. So I will come back to you with those other ones, but for now, you've got a bunch of options right here. Okay. Um, before you turn in exercise eight, regardless of what font you use, you need to create outlines. So if this is a very funky font, or it's a very ordinary font. When you are all done and you're like, I'm ready to turn it in, I might go to edit, check spelling, and when it's done, because right, once, once we change this from editable text into outlines, you would have to do it again if you misspell something. So with that selected, you're going to go to type, create outlines. And now each of these is an individual shape. So I can ungroup them. If I wanted to grab that C, I can work with these individually. Also, this would be a chance for you to go in and say, well, I like this A, but I kind of wish there was a, it was a little more dramatic on that one side. You know, and I think I can, you know, kind of edit you um, have the option of editing these individually now. And kind of making a very distinct uh, font that is uh, from another font. Okay, so we've got clipping masks, creating outlines. Sim um, the next video will be symbols, and I will pause it for just a moment. We are back. <laughs> we destroyed it. <laughs> we found some um, brushes some called some flourishes. And I just want to show you the difference. That EPS opened, and those brushes were just um, closed paths, but they weren't technically brushes. But in the flourish, you'll see that there's flourish brushes AI. And when you double click that, it loaded up those as brushes. So these are pretty schwanktacular. Um, you could take one of these, edit it, and also make it your own brush. So that's the difference. If you're looking for a brush and you're on DeviantArt, let's see if we can't make that happen again. I'm trapped, I think, in the tiara. Okay. Tiara brushes, which is it's, they're a way, way worse place to be. Ooh, let's get these. Okay, go over here, download. Right? Then we, these I'm throwing away. And that is an AI file. We open it up in Illustrator and the brushes are there, right? So that's how you can add brushes, but you need it to make sure that it's an AI file and it actually loads, loads as a brush panel. So the next video we will uh, look at symbols and how to create um, like a little wiener dog that we can repeat all over the place.